Okay, um, very briefly, uh, iSpot, um, a project we are doing at the Sensible City Lab. Let me tell you a couple of words about Sensible City Lab. Uh, it's a new research group here at MIT. It's uh, in between the Media Lab and uh, Urban Studies and Planning. Well, what do we do there? Um, what we do is uh, look at this, that's, that's uh, yesterday's wireless, um, that's Marconi's uh, Cape Cod station. Look at all of that steel and engine and energy and the amount of effort just to transmit a few bits of information across the Atlantic. Now look at today's wireless, it's uh, more like this, and you can actually transmit much more information using that. And what we're doing is sort of rethink in a creative way the interface between people, mobile technology, and the city. Now concerning iSpots, uh, this project is um, based on the MIT campus. That's uh, what you see there. So you, most of you, I'm sure, are familiar, Boston, MIT. And um, the interesting thing is that if you talk to anybody at MIT, they will tell you there's a big revolution happening. And this revolution is in the way people live and work. And it's brought by laptop computers and Wi-Fi. So if you look at this, this is uh, how people used to work here. And uh, this is more like, um, today. Now, this is a bit biased, as you see. We, we could find the, the worst possible image of a computer room, uh, dull, boring, no natural light, and, and this like a sunny day. It's not like today. But uh, the, um, the thing is that there's a big change. And uh, what we are trying to do with iSpots is try to define and see uh, how the change is happening and quantify this by allowing people to locate themselves actually with a few meter accuracy using the, the, the Wi-Fi network. And so it's a unique case study that we are starting to monitor where we got 20,000 people on the MIT campus, a big chunk, um, urban chunk, with uh, 3,000 uh, access points. That's quite a bit if you think that uh, cities like Philadelphia actually are planning to cover all of the city with Wi-Fi in the, in the next couple of years, and that's less than uh, 3,000 less than the number we have of uh, access point. Uh, uh, this high density means that we can locate everybody with uh, just a few meters accuracy. This is just a map with uh, some of the access points. And actually, um, I'll show you the two maps for, um, for the project you'll see at the museum. Um, oops. The first type of map is a map that shows you in real time the activity going on on the network and uh, how many people are working in different parts of the campus. So you get this type of map changing. You don't see it very well here, but uh, you see it better at the museum. And the second map is um, this one uh, that's um, like, uh, oops. That's like, uh, uh, the heartbeat of MIT. Now, what you see here is total activity uh, going on the, on the campus in real time, and you see the past week. So what you see here is uh, all of MIT, and that's actually a standard day. You see people coming and working 9 to 5, and then actually students keeping on working quite late, even even during IEP. And then you got a peak, a, mi a peak and a, a minimum at 6 a.m., and then you got the next day. <coughs> it's interesting, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday when most of the activity, nine to five activity disappears and actually uh, you've got uh, just the remaining part of the curve happening. Um, activity is slipping down in, uh, on Friday evening, people going out, and uh, on Sunday uh, when you're starting to panic again about Monday and the next week, then there's another peak. And then what you see here, you can do this and query every room in, on the campus, and what you see here, for instance, is uh, this actual room, and you see most of the week it was pretty no activity, and look at today. And today you can get, you get actually up to 25 users, which is the number of laptops I, er, I counted earlier today of people connected to, to, to the wireless internet here. Um, and you see it here, that's uh, today, Monday. It will appear in a minute. Um, anyway, you'll see the demo at the, um, yeah, here you see the spike, today's, today's activity. And uh, you see the demo uh, at the museum. Uh, just a couple of uh, just a couple of things about uh, just to conclude. Um, 
uh, another project we have is actually with a, with a soccer uh, team. Um, being Italian, I, I, I'm very proud of this project, and it's uh, uh, with AC Milan, and here we're tracking actually players with a couple of centimeter accuracy in real time, and then developing artificial intelligence algorithms in order to study their movement and optimize strategy. So we get these type of traces and then analyze them. Um, and then we got a number of other projects really dealing with technology and space, how technology and space interface. Uh, we also started, this is funded through a sensible city consortium that's sort of bringing to, together the different, the key actors uh, uh, being part of this revolution from network operators, hardware companies, uh, urban hardware, and, and public administration. But that's it. I think if you'd like to have a chat, we'll be at the museum. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.